Okay. So this video is about constraint optimization with two, uh, and actually looking at two constraint problems. So still we're looking at Lagrange multipliers. Um, but in this case, in the previous case you saw, previous video you saw only one constraint. Now we have two constraints. So in this case, again, the problem is rather simple to set up. So here uh, we'll have, in fact, two Lagrange multipliers. So we introduced introduce a lambda with GX uh, and we introduce a, a mu with um, HX. Uh, so in the similar way, so we'll end up with this situation. Okay, I'm sorry, plus, plus mu times HZ. And of course, then you have G equals K and H equals C. So to that problem, then we need to find, of course, find X, Y, Z, lambda, and mu. So that would be our objective. So let's look at a quick example. So here's the example. So we want to find the uh, maximum minimum values of f x y z equals x plus 2y plus 3z on the curve of intersection of the plane x minus y plus z equals 1 and the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 1. So here we have, of course, f as it is, and we'll let um, g equal x minus y plus z, and it's equal to 1, and we'll let h equal um, x squared plus y squared Okay, and that's equal to 1 as well. So now, uh, let's set up our equations. Our equations are going to be uh, just as, um, as you see here. It's exact, uh, it, these, these are going to be our equations, just like this. So I'm just going to follow those and start calculating. So basically, fx first. So fx is going to be uh, 1. So 1 is equal to lambda plus 2x mu. And then we'll have... 2 and because um, fy will give us 2 and that's equal to lambda or sorry I should say negative lambda okay um, because of this minus here okay and plus of course 2y mu and the third z um, the z derivative is going to give us 3 here and that's equal to uh, lambda Okay, and that's it. And no, nothing will come from uh, the second constraint. So that plus we have our equations, of course, x minus y plus z equals 1 and x squared plus y squared equals 1. So now we're ready to solve this problem. Let's have a look. So using lambda equals 3 uh, from here, as you can see, well, let me mark these equations. One. So if I substitute lambda equals 3 into our first equation, equation 1, okay, I'm going to get in 1, lambda equals 3 in 1 gives us, let's have a look, so we're going to have uh, 2x mu equals minus 2, okay, 2x mu equals minus 2, okay, and that tells us that um, x is equal to minus 1 over mu, by the way, let's let's do the lambda equals 3 in 2 now, okay, and lambda equals 3 in 2 gives us, it's going to give us uh, minus 3 into 5, so 2y mu is equal to 5, yeah, okay, which implies that y is 5 over 2 mu, okay, clearly. So we've got these uh, uh, relationships. Now, if we were to substitute, let's substitute these into, so let's call this 6 and 7. Substitute this um, 6 and 7 in 5 gives, okay, so it's going to give us 1 over mu squared plus 25 over 4 mu squared is equal to 1, okay, and that means uh, this implies uh, clearly multiply both sides by uh, mu squared, so you're going to end up with mu squared is equal to 29 over 4, that's reasonably straightforward, um, which means that mu is equal to plus or minus 
um, square root of 29 over 2. Okay, uh, now, if um, u is equal to this, then clearly, then uh, this implies, so that, let me put a thing on this. So now we have lambda and mu both. Now we need the, uh, the values of x and y and z, of course. So this implies, this implies x is equal to uh, from 6. So from 6, x is equal to um, minus plus, okay? Because when you put the positive value, it will become negative 2 over square root 29. So it will be just upside down. And similarly, y, okay, similarly from 7, okay, y is going to be equal to plus or minus. Now, this one is, I have to be careful here when I put uh, root 20, so it's going to be 5 over root 29. Okay, so that's what we end up with. So that's x and y. Now that we have x and y, uh, we can easily get z from 4. Okay, equation number four. So let's do that. Uh, subbing in this x, this y, and let's not forget the lambda equals three here. Okay, that's so from four, subbing in the values of x and y, we see that z it turns out to be okay. So let's see, it's going to be. Um, it's going to be 1, that's going to give you plus minus 2 over root 29, minus 5 over root, two, root 29, okay, and that's it, yes, and that's going to give us, so basically what we're going to have is 1 plus minus 7 over root 29, F remember, so we have our value of Z, so this implies z is equal to this. So let's put a square on that. Now this, this means, therefore, f of um, minus plus 2 over root 29. y is 5 plus minus 5 over root 29. And z is minus 1 plus minus 7 over root 29. So when I substitute these values in, I'm going to get the following. So and these are in the original function, of course. Uh, if you remember, that's the x plus 2y plus 3z. Okay, so x is as it is. So it's just minus plus 2 over root 29. And then plus twice. So plus minus uh, twice means 10. 10 over root 29. Okay, and then we'll have... Um, three times these values, so it'll be minus three, okay, plus or minus 21 over square root 29, okay? And that's gonna give us, essentially here, um, th three plus minus square root 29, okay? You can check that. Um, and if you want, you can, of course, calculate. Uh, now, the maximum value, of course, is um, 3 plus. So, clearly, mm, this is the maximum value. Sorry about that. One sec now. Therefore, max of f is 3 plus, ah, sorry, 3 plus square root 29, and min of f is 3 minus square root 29. All right, that's it.